all doing our part. We're all doing our part. Um, those brooms also shed a little bit. practicing self-isolation um me and izzy have decided to take turns to do the washing up so i thought i'd do a little refresher tutorial for those of us who may have forgotten a bit so first i was deciding should i like lather each bowl rinse it and put it in the rack but then i decided there's a better way to do it just fill up the sink put all the dishes inside okay then turn off the water so you don't waste water also then Lather all of them, and then put them back here, and then rinse them off. Got it. Hi everyone. I'm recording this message at home, and I hope you're seeing this at home. Social distancing and staying at home are two critical steps to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. The next 10 to 15 days are extremely crucial. Please avoid all public places, public transport like trains and buses. We all must do our bit to help fight in this crisis. And please follow the instructions issued by the state government. Stay home, stay safe, and take care. So since we're all still practicing social distancing, uh, what I thought we'd do today is I'm gonna be doing my workout from home. Yas is gonna be doing it from her house and we're gonna do a split screen. We're gonna do like a 10 minute warm up and like a 20, 25 minute full body routine. Now that we're stuck at home, what should we do? Well, you can't leave me ever. <laughs> so I think everyone knows that now that the government has said that most of the gyms are going to be shut now for some time, I still think that we can, you know, do a workout at home. We can do a small workout at home, maybe yeah. 20, 25 minutes. You don't have to stress your body, but even a little bit of workout is really good for your immunity. It also keeps your endorphins up at a time where there's a lot of fear and anxiety around. Um, be positive, be happy. So here guys is a routine that you can do at home for 20 minutes that will make you happy.